Coffee Break Chinese Season 1, Episode 15. Welcome back to Coffee Break Chinese. We're delighted to be here. 欢迎来到Coffee Break Chinese. 很高兴和大家一起学习中文。很高兴和大家一起学习中文. Something like that. <laughs> I'm getting there. Every time I'll get a little bit better, hopefully. We are delighted to be back with another episode of Coffee Break Chinese. This time we're going to be looking at something that's very important in Chinese, and that is numbers. Now, we've already covered numbers in some way, but we're going to take that a little further today and look at numbers, days of the week, months of the year, saying the year, and all that kind of thing. Indeed. Exciting. Are we ready to get started? 准备好了? Okay, now in our previous lesson, we learned how to count from, from 1 to 10. And I, I hope our listeners can remember how to do that. But can you remember, Mark? I, I hope so. Uh-huh. Okay, have a go then. <laughs> okay, I'm going to start with zero, because okay. I think zero is important too. And I think that's Ling. And then we go e r san se wu liu qi ba jiu shi Perfect. Well done. Or my tones okay? Fei chang hao. Okay, good stuff. Now the great thing about Chinese numbers is that we can go on further than 10 just by using those same numbers. So 11 becomes 10 1. Yeah. Uh shi Yi, <laughs> shi yi. Uh, or 15 perhaps would be shi wu, and so on. Um, when it gets to 20, mm-hmm. it's not too difficult. No. 20 would be? Two tens. Uh, r, shi. Fei chang hao. <laughs> I was funny with my tones there. R, shi. So uh, that would be fourth tone and then second tone. Mm. R, shi. Mm. And then 30, san, shi. Right. 40 would be? 四十. 四十. And then, so what? We, we don't need to go through all mm. of these numbers again. We did reach 100 last yes. time. And I seem to remember that 100 would be by. By. I got the tone wrong, so the, it should be third tone then. By. Um, have we done a word that is by? No. Am I getting mixed up with bay? Correct. So that's it's written in pinyin B E I as opposed to B A I for uh, for one hundred. And bay was when we were ordering a cup of something. E bay coffee. E bay cafe, so a cup of coffee rather than one hundred cups of coffee, which might be <laughs> we would certainly be ready for anything after a hundred cups of coffee. Okay, so uh, one hundred then would be E bai. E bai. And then, am I right in thinking that we need to add something else before we go on to the one? Yes. One hundred zero one. That's right. E by ling e. E by ling e, and so on. E by ling r, and uh, let's say one hundred and ten. Um, e by shi. E shi. Ah, okay, so we need to do 110. Yes. 一百一十. Right. So 110. Um, would 120 be 一百二十? Right. Oh, okay. Right. So far, so good. Let's do a little practice of numbers from 100 onwards then, Crystal. Can you give our listeners and me some, okay. some numbers to translate? Okay. 一百七十八. Let's hear that again. 一百七十八 Okay, I think this is 178. Uh, mm. Sorry, I did the wrong tone again there. Mm. So, 一百七十八 Okay, let's have another one. Uh-huh. 465 Let's hear it again. 
百六十五。So there you're talking about 四百 which would be four hundred.、Mm-hmm. Um, 六十五 so that's uh six. Sixty-five. Okay, give me one in English to go、okay. into to Chinese. Nine hundred ninety-eight. Okay, nine hundred ninety-eight. I'll give this a go. Ju bai, jiu shi ba. 太棒了 Okay, right. Numbers, as we've suggested, are are extremely important. Let's take it one digit further and go into one thousand. That's easy. One is still one. E、mm-hmm. thousand is 千千 Q I A N. Okay, so written in pinyin would be 千 Q I A N and the first, first tone. tone, and of course, one when it's a first tone. On its own would be e,、right. but then when we combine that, just the same with e by and and e chen e chen, so it becomes a fourth, fourth tone e chen one thousand. So if one thousand is e chen, would two thousand be r chen? Correct. You could also say 两千 So that's the liang, which is the the version of two that we use when we're counting things when we're、yeah. when using a measure word. Uh, so if it were two thousand cups of tea,、uh, we would say liang chen bei cha. 对对对 That's a lot of tea.、Uh-huh. Okay.、Um, so would we use the same format if we're saying, for example, the date? The, this year is two thousand seventeen. So would we say two thousand seventeen? No, no, no. Here's good news about learning Chinese. When it comes to the year, how do you tell? You just read digit by digit. For example. Two thousand and seventeen. You don't have to say two, 两千零一十七 That's very complicated. You just read every digit, digit by digit. For example, 二零一七 So that's just two zero one seven. And you add the year in Chinese. 年 Let's hear that, that again. 年 N I A N second tone. 年、mm-hmm. 年 okay, so 2017 would be 二零一七 and then you add the 年对 okay, so 二零一七年非常好 okay, right. We'll come back to years a little later because I think we should learn how to say when our birthdays are, for example. And also look at different years or different specific dates when maybe certain things happened. But before we do that, I think we should also learn the the, the words for days of the week and months of the year.、Mm-hmm. Let's do the days of the week first.、Mm-hmm. Are they difficult in Chinese? Not at all. <laughs> good, good. <laughs> that's, that's always the thing I want to know. So, the important word you need to know here is 星期星期星期 means week, right? Yeah. So Monday. It's first day of the week,、mm-hmm. so you see week one, 星期一星期一 So that's just like saying week, then the number one,、that's、which represents、right. Monday. That's right. Okay. So guess 星期二 I'm guessing that would be Tuesday. Correct. Guess another one.、Uh, 星期六 That would be Friday. No, Liu.、Uh, Liu. That's the six Saturday. That's right. Okay, so Xin Qi Liu Saturday.、Um, let's go through all of the days、okay. then. So、uh, Monday, Xin Qi Yi, Xin Qi Yi,、mm-hmm. Tuesday, Xin Qi Er, Xin Qi Er,、uh, Wednesday, Xin Qi San. 星期三 ，and Thursday， 星期四，星期四 ，okay Friday， 星期五，星期五 ，and Saturday， 星期六。
Sing Chi Liu. And uh, Sunday? You guess? Sing Chi. Chi. <laughs> That's logic, but no. <laughs> oh, right. It's too good to be true, obviously. Then. So Sunday, Sunday is unique here. Uh -huh. You could say week day plus a day. It's a tian. Mm -hmm. So, Sing Chi Tian. Tian can also mean sky. Is that the same Tian as in Tian and Tian Men? And men? Okay. okay. Uh, what are the tones there for Tiananmen again? Tiananmen. First, first, second. Tiananmen. So that's mm -hmm. the same. Is it heaven? Yeah, heaven. Heaven. Okay. Yeah. Tiananmen. But here we're saying Xing Qi Tian. All first tones. Yeah. And did you say there's an alternative? There's another one. Xing Qi Ri. Ri means day in traditional Chinese mm -hmm. or ancient Chinese. Xing Qi Ri. Mm -hmm. Um, so that's like saying week day again. So yeah. the, both both can mean day then. Yeah. Re and Tian. Xing Qi Re. Xing Qi Tian. Is there a is there a preference? No, they can be used interchangeably. Okay, good mm -hmm. stuff. Right, that's the days of the week then, and it's always good to know that our numbers are coming into to to be useful once more. Mm -hmm. Let's have a little break uh, before we learn the months of the year. But I kind of, maybe I'm going to guess that the months of the year aren't too difficult either. No. Okay, we'll look <laughs> forward to that then. We'll be back in just a moment. We'd like to take this opportunity to remind you that you can get more out of your Coffee Break Chinese experience by signing up for our full course on the Coffee Break Academy. In addition to the audio lessons, you'll get access to bonus listening materials, lesson notes and video versions of each lesson, showing the Mandarin words and phrases written out in pinyin and Chinese characters. You can find out more at coffeebreakchinese.com. Welcome back. We are learning the days of the week, the months of the year, so that we can talk about dates and there may even be some time later to do some time too. Mm -hmm. um, let's see if we can uh, look at the months of the year. You were explaining that days of the week, we say week, then the number one. That's right. Can we use a similar format for the months of the year? That would be too good, right? <laughs> it would be too good to be true. Yeah, okay. Explain what happens here. Uh, it comes to yue, month. Yeah. You put the number first and then you put the month after that. But we can still use our numbers. Yes, indeed. Oh, okay, so yeah. we don't have to learn other words or anything like that. No. For example, here, month is yue, Y-U-E, fourth tone. Yue. Mm -hmm. So generally, you put first is the number yi, and then you put the month, yue, yi, yue. Yi, yue. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, so would February be r, yue? Yue. Okay, let's see if I can go through these. So March, uh -huh. uh, I'll say it, but then you say it again okay, so Ow. that our, our listeners can get the proper pronunciation. Would it be uh, for March, San Yue? Too good. I don't need to say it. <laughs> <laughs> San Yue. Okay. Um, what about uh, April would be Si Yue? Si Yue. And May, uh, Wu Yue. Wu Yue. Jun. Liu Wei Liu Yue Liu Yue Then uh, July Qi Yue Qi Yue August Ba Yue Ba Yue September would be ninth month so we're going to say Jiu Yue Jiu Yue And October the tenth month Shi Yue Shi Yue now, the 11th month, November, would that be Shi Yi Yue? Shi Yi Yue. When you say that month all together, do you stop in between each syllable or do you just run it all together? Together. How would you normally say November? Shi Yi Yue. Shi Yi Yue. Yeah, all together. All together. And then uh, the, the 12th month of the year, December, would that be Shi Er Yue? Shi Er Yue. Okay. 12 month. 
Okay, so we've got days, mm -hmm. we've got months, all seems to make sense, and we've got the the year, mm -hmm. um, because both the year, you've explained that we just see the, the digits individually, yeah. and that gives us the yeah. digits. So does this mean then that we can actually come up with the, the date? We can say today, I mm -hmm. think we know the word for today, is it Jin Tian? Jin Tian. So today is, can we use Shu? Sure. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. This is making sense, yes. So today is, now let's think about the date that this lesson will be published. Mm -hmm. I think it will be the 14th of June, 2017, assuming everything goes according to plan. So let's see, how would we say the 14th of June, 2017, Crystal? Logically, if you just follow the English version, you say the date first and the month and the year. However, in Chinese, we always start with the biggest concept, and then you move down to smaller concepts. We've heard about that before. That. Yeah, yeah. Correct. So in this case, you start to see the year 2017. Mm -hmm. You read two first. Yeah. R and zero. Ning. Mm -hmm. And then one. E. e. And then seven. Qi. E. And then you add the word nian for year. Year. Okay. So yeah. you get R ning yi qi nian. Okay. And then you move down to month, yeah? So this is June, it's the yeah. sixth month. Liu yue. Do we have to put in a word for month there? Yue is the month. Oh, of course, yeah, right enough, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so then the day. Then the day. Which is the 15th. 14th? The 14th, sorry, yeah. <laughs> have a day late. <laughs> si hao. So there we add in the word uh, for the day. The day. Mm. How? Mm. I think you told me there was another word for, for <laughs> zhe. That's right. Okay, so can I try saying mm. today is the 14th, let's be correct, the 14th of June uh, 2017. Uh, Jin liu yue. <laughs> if it's not zhe, it should be how. How. Okay, so those are both fourth tone. How or zhe. Let me try that one more time. Jin Tian Shu R Ling Yi Chi Nian Liu Yue Shu Su How. How. So today is the 14th of June 2017. Now we're going to be practicing these dates in our bonus episode when it comes time to do some translations. Um, and we'll be, we'll talk, talk a little more about some other dates. How would we say my birthday is and give a particular date? Mm -hmm. So you need to learn birthday first. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 生日. 生日. We have learned 日 means day. Day, yeah. yeah uh -huh. Okay. 生 meaning something to grow or something to give birth. Okay. Yeah. 生日. So the day you were born. Could we ever say 生号? No, you can't. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so in this case, we've got to use 日. Yeah. So my birthday, would that be 我的生日? So my birthday, and then is shu. Uh -huh, yeah. What uh -huh. a sheng zhe shu. Okay, I'm going to see. I'm going to have a go and see if I can say the correct date for my birthday, the date and year. I'll admit to when I was born. Yeah. Um, and uh, Crystal, you can see if I've done this correctly by uh -huh. telling me what day I'm saying. So what a sheng zhe shu. Yi jiao qi er nian si. Yue. Uh, then er uh, how? Very good. So you said your birthday is 20th of April 1972. Well how? done. Okay. How? Right. I won't ask you to, to give us the, the, the year of your birth. That would be very rude. It, is that rude in China? Uh, nowadays, yes. It is. Yes. Okay. But Yes, there's also another way to ask in a very secret way or okay. discreet way. You can ask which animal sign. Of course, are. yeah. yeah. Right, we'll, we'll come to that in just a moment because I think that will involve some more vocabulary. Um, but if you can just tell us the, the, the month and the date the, of your birthday, oh, we'll, birthday. See, we'll see when it can work out. Okay. 我的生日是十二月二十号。十二月二十号。
R J. So she R J is twelve month,、mm-hmm. and then the date was R S H O. R S H O. That's the twentieth. Yes. The twentieth of December. Yes. Oh, almost Christmas. <laughs> Can you say Christmas dates then? Oh,、uh, that would be um. She R J. Um. 二十五号。Christmas Eve. Oh, you're just getting complicated here. So Christmas Eve would be um, 二十月。十。哦，十二月。Um, 二十四日。对，非常好。I've got to think every single word here, and、uh-huh. my brain is in, is on overload. I think. Okay, so far we've learned how to say today is and my birthday is. We also need to learn how to wish people happy birthday. Hmm. So happy in Chinese, 快乐快乐 Okay, so happy birthday. We say birthday first, 生日 and then 快乐生日快乐 Birthday happy. Is that 乐 in there anything to do with the the sort of past? That we've been looking at. No,、It's、this is like a, have we used that Coca Cola? Yeah, yeah. So same le, meaning right? Happy, happy of course. Yeah. So, 生日快乐 Yes. Okay. Now, if we are able to say、uh, my birthday is such and such a date,、uh, we also should know how to say when is your birthday. So,、mm-hmm. how would we say that?、Mm-hmm. So you should learn when in Chinese.、Mm-hmm. 什么时候 Shen me shi hao. So that's shen me that we've come across many what? times. What and what does shi hao literally? Shi hao could be time. Time. Okay. Yeah. What time? Okay. So, can I guess this? Would it be your birthday is when? Ni de sheng ri shi shen me shi hao. Very good. Very good. What are the twins there in shi hao? Shi hao. Second, fourth. Right. Up down. 你的生日是什么时候？对 ，OK， so Crystal， 呃、uh, ，你的生日是什么时候？我的生日是十二月二十号。So we already know that you're the twentieth of the of December. Okay, so you ask me, I'll change my birthday this,、okay. this time. Younger? <laughs> no, I'll not bother with a year. <laughs> Mark， 你的生日是什么时候？ Okay, my birthday is on the seventeenth of May. So let me guess. You said your birthday is seventeenth of May. Seventeenth of May. Yeah, that's actually Norwegian National Day. Random fact. I don't know how we would say that in Chinese, but let's not go there just now. Okay, we've talked about dates. We've talked about months. We've talked about days of the week. There is one other aspect that I think we should start at least in in this lesson because we'll be picking it up when we're talking about tourist information and things like that. And that is time. I'm hoping. I'm guessing that time will involve some numbers too. Indeed. So, how would we say? Let's say two o'clock. Okay. So two we have learned. R. R. But when you count the quantity, you see liang. Liang, that's yeah. right. So a clock in Chinese, dian. Dian. Now that sounds familiar. Is it the same dian that we talked about phones or something like that? Phone numbers. Dian hua. Dian hua. Oh, different tone. Different tone. Different, different word. Tone. Okay,、mm. so it's got nothing to do with electric things.、Mm, okay,、no. so third tone for this one, dian. Or. 点钟，点钟。嗯哼，所以 both can be used. Middle. 钟奴 ，it's the same pronunciation, different word. So this 钟 means a clock. A clock, okay. So two o'clock could be 两点 or 两点钟。两点钟 ，or just 两。Dian. Yeah, 两点 is abbreviation of 两点钟 Okay, so if 两点 is is two o'clock, I'm guessing four o'clock would be 四点对 and six o'clock, uh, 六点对 and so on. Right. So how would we say it is two o'clock? Remember, Mark, we don't translate literally word by word from English to Chinese. So in this case, you see 现在两点 We've heard 现在 before.、Um, does that mean now? 对 
Okay, because we, we learned that quite early on. We learned, uh, but now I live in somewhere. 但是现在我住在纽约 or wherever. Okay, so 现在 now. And two o'clock. Two o'clock. 两点. And I suppose the next natural question is, how do we ask what time is it? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's very easy. We have learned almost all the components. Okay. okay? Um, so what time is it now? You say now first. Uh-huh. And, uh-huh. and then you ask uh, how many. Right. We did that when we were talking about beers, didn't we? Or people. Yeah, yeah. Uh, is it ji? Or ji, third tone. Yeah. And then you add the hours. Which are dian. Dian. So, Perfect. Right. So, literally, we're asking there now how many hours. Mm-hmm. Can I ask one thing about those tones? Because I'm saying third tone, third tone. Does that work the same way as ni hao when the first of those two third tones kind of changes a little? Can you say then how you would say what time is it now? 现在几点? So it almost sounds like a, a second tone? Yeah. 几点? Instead of 几点, I say 几点. Okay. 现在几点? Right. Crystal, uh, 现在几点? Um, 现在十一点四十. Ooh, let me see if I can work this out. You said dian, so that's 11 o'clock. And then you said? 四十. 四十, so that's uh, 40, 11.40. Yeah, exactly. So we can just add the numbers on afterwards. Uh-huh. Fantastic. Now, there are obviously more times that we need to learn things like half past and mm-hmm. quarter past and quarter to and so on. Mm-hmm. But I think we need to leave them for the next lesson. The, if, if we're asking the question, what time is it now? It's time to finish. How would we say that? <laughs> uh, Class is dismissed. Class is dismissed, right. That sounds good. Okay, that's it for this lesson. That is indeed it for this lesson, but there's going to be more uh, testing of dates and months and days of the week and so on in our bonus audio materials where Crystal's going to be testing me and, of course, you on these Chinese words and phrases. That is part of our premium version of the course, and there are also video versions of each lesson and lesson notes which will help you understand everything more clearly. You can find out all you need to know about that at coffeebreakchinese.com. Why don't you let us know when your birthday is? We will post the question, 你的生日是什么时候? on our Facebook page, and you can practice your Chinese dates. Don't worry, you don't need to write the year. You can write the year if you want a little extra practice, but don't feel you need to. We'll be back again soon with more Coffee Break Chinese, but until then, as usual, 谢谢,再见! You have been listening to a production of the Copy Break Academy for the Radiolingua Network. Copyright 2017, Radiolingua Limited. Recording copyright 2017, Radiolingua Limited. All rights reserved. <laughs>